Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is called Direct Variation, and our objective is to use direct variation to solve problems. If we were to write the definitions of direct variation and constant of proportionality, direct variation is a relationship in which two quantities have a constant ratio As for constant of proportionality, this is the constant ratio in a direct variation. Now for our real world link. The distance d a car travels after t hours can be represented by d equals 65 times t. The table and the graph also represent the situation. Two hours, 130 miles. Think about it. 65 times 2 is 130. 65 times 3, 195. 65 times 4, 260. And you can see that on the graph as well. Fill in the blanks to find the constant ratio. Well, 130 over 2 which is 130 over 2, equals 195, which is here and here. That would be over 3. And then what is over the 4? Well, 260. And if we were to simplify all of these down, 130 divided by 2, 195 divided by 3, and 260 divided by 4, they all simplify into 65 miles per hour. The constant rate of change or slope of the line is change in miles over change in time, which is equal to 195 minus 130, well that's 195 minus 130, over 3 minus 2, which is also equal to, if you simplify this out, 65 over 1, which is 65 miles per hour. Write a sentence that compares the constant rate of change and the constant ratio. Well, not to make this too difficult, but they are the same. 65 equals 65. Our key concept is that of direct variation. And direct variation is a linear relationship, is a direct variation, when the ratio of y to x is a constant k. We say y varies directly with x. An example of this, y equals 3x. When two variable quantities have a constant ratio, their relationship is called a direct variation. The constant ratio is called the constant of variation. The constant of variation is also known as the constant of proportionality. In a direct variation equation, the constant rate of change or slope is assigned a special variable. Okay. In our first guided example, the height of the water as a pool is being filled is shown in the graph. Determine the rate in inches per minute. Since the graph of the data forms a line, the rate of change is constant. Use the graph to find the constant of proportionality. We'll look at 2 over 5 which is 0.4 over 1, or 4 tenths over 1. 4 over 10 is 4 tenths over 1. 6 fifteenths is 4 tenths over 1. And 8 twentieths is 4 tenths over 1. Notice all of these were y over x. So the pool fills at a rate of 4 tenths an inch every minute. Got it? Let's find out. Two minutes after a diver enters the water, he descended 52 feet. After five minutes, he has descended 130 feet. At what rate is the scuba diver descending? For this question, we can take a look at our 52 over 
2 minutes, which simplifies to 26 over 1. And we can do 130 over 5 minutes, which also simplifies into 26 over 1. So we can say that he is descending 26 feet per minute. In guided example 2, the equation y equals 10x represents the amount of money y Julio earns for x hours of work. Identify the constant of proportionality. Explain what it represents in this situation. Well, our direct variation equation is y equals kx, where k is the constant of variation or constant of proportionality. Well, if we're given the equation y equals 10x, that 10 is our constant of proportionality. What does it mean? Well, the equation represents the amount of money y that he earns for x hours. So he earns $10 for every hour that he works. Let's see if we can do that in got it B. The distance y traveled in miles by the Chang family in x hours is represented by the equation y equals 55x. Identify the constant of proportionality. Then explains what it represents. Well, our constant of proportionality here is going to be that 55. What does it represent? Well, the y was miles, x was hours. This is also known as y over x for the constant of proportionality. So we're looking at miles over hours, which basically means the Chang family traveled 55 miles per hour. So you can use the question to help you here. Distance y x hours. Let's move on to determine direct variation. Not all situations with a constant rate of change are proportional relationships. Likewise, not all linear functions are direct variations. In guided example three, pizzas cost $8 each plus a $3 delivery charge. Show the cost of one, two, three, and four pizzas. Is there a direct variation? And when you start to think of direct variation now, I want us to start thinking of this as y over x. When you think direct variation, again, y over x. That equals the k, but we don't have the k right now, so we need to see if it exists. Our number of pizzas on the graph is our x. Our cost is our y, which is why they compare this as 11 over 1, 19 over 2, 27 over 3, and 35 over 4. The 11 over 1, 19 over 2, and so on. 11 over 1 is simplified. 19 over 2 simplifies to 9 and a half. 27 over 3 simplifies to 9. And 35 over 4 simplifies to 8 and 75 hundredths. That's not a constant ratio for any of them. And the graph does not go through the origin. So there is not a direct variation. So we need it to go through the origin, and we need a constant ratio for there to be direct variation. Do we got it? Two pounds of cheese cost $8.40. Show the cost of one, two, three, and four pounds of cheese. Is there direct variation? Explain. The first thing we need to do is to complete the table. For one pound of cheese, well, we'll figure that out. What about two pounds of cheese? Well, we're told two pounds of cheese is eight dollars and forty cents. Three, we'll figure out four. Well, if two pounds of cheese cost eight dollars and forty cents, four pounds is going to be double that, which is sixteen dollars and eighty cents. And likewise, if two pounds is eight dollars and forty cents. Half of that gets us to 1, which is $4.20. Now, 1 plus 2 equals 3. Not breaking any news there. 
But in this question, one pound of cheese plus two pounds of cheese equals three pounds of cheese, so the cost of one plus the cost of two is going to equal $12.60 for the three pounds. And as we go to graph this, one being at $4.20, somewhere around here, two being at $8.40, three around $12.60, and for around $16.80 does provide us with a really nice graph that is linear and that goes through the origin. So right there it looks like we have direct variation. But let's look at the ratios as well. And remember, direct variation is y over x. So let's compare all our y over x. We have the 420 for the one pound, which does simplify into just $4.20. We have the $8.40 for the two pounds, which again simplifies into $4.20. We have the $12.60 for the three pounds, which again simplifies into $4.20. And lastly, we have the $16.80 for the four pounds, which simplifies into the $4.20. So to answer our question, we're gonna say yes, there is a direct variation. Because That $4.20 over 1 is a constant ratio. And where's the over 1 come? Well, this was 420 over 1, simplifies to 420 over 1, 420 over 1 throughout. Got it. Example 4 does not have a got it question attached. Let's be sure to pay attention here. Determine whether the linear relationship is a direct variation. If so, state the constant of proportionality. Very similar to what we did in saying our 420 over 1, 840 over 2, 6, or 1260 over 3, and 1680 over 4, they compared the y over x again. The 12 over 1, 24 over 2, 36 over 3, 48 over 4, and those all simplify into 12 over 1. And again, since the ratios are the same, the relationship is a direct variation, and the constant of proportionality is 12 over 1. That is it for this lesson on direct variation, and that is it for Chapter 1 on ratios and proportional reasoning. Good luck!